burgeoning technology right now. It's, it really is in its early stages. It's got a long way to go. It's going to become the norm for, for the entire world. And in some markets, for, for example, the United States, it's just beginning to open up. And uh, earlier generations of the technology led to a lot of material being shipped to China, for example. We have a plant in China ourselves. But what I see is I see more uh, plants in the company, in the countries where the uh, products are generated. And I see products like automotive shredder residues and, and other similar materials uh, being recycled where they presently are going to landfill. And so the, the opportunities are enormous in this business. Well, it's, it's driven by a lot of things. It's dri driven by consumers, by the government law, and it's driven by companies that, that push the technology forward and, and take the risk and the effort to make it happen. Uh, in the UK, uh, we're on the leading edge because they have the laws in place already that make landfill expensive and, and, and push recycling. Uh, and uh, so that just provides the, the, the groundwork, the, the opportunity for us to use our technology and to take advantage of, of every opportunity to, to re receive the material, to get the uh, present recyclers to do whatever steps they have to do to give us something we can work with. And, uh, and we, we're seeing a lot of companies that are showing that interest now, in addition primarily to our, our venture partner, uh, EMR. Well, I think it's going to be necessary for, for the world because there are limited resources and the price of those resources are going to continue to grow. Once the economics are such that, that this is what people need to do uh, and it becomes the least expensive route forward, then it, it becomes a simple game to play because everyone will go that way. But in this interim, next five, ten years, whatever, you'll see the transition. Uh, recycling costs will come down, recycling will increase, costs of other natural raw materials will go up and, and you'll see it to where it becomes the primary route as it is now for things like aluminum where, where most aluminum is recycled that can happen to plastics as well and, uh, and in fact it already happens in uh, PET bottles, coke bottles and, uh, and we're just taking it to the next level with automotive uh, sources and electronics.